Never make this mistake. This is a massive security risk. You would have seen people sharing their Power BI reports via links and sometimes they make a mistake which will make their report public, which means it is accessible from internet. It's a massive risk. It's, it's basically you are giving all your data in the form of a per perfect dashboard or a report to be accessed by anyone in the world. That's a massive security risk. Let me tell you, let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. So there is this, uh, there is this option to share or publish a report to the web. In ideal situations, when whenever you want to share your report, so you usually use this share button and you select whom you want to share it with, whether it's a report for the entire organization, then you select this. If you want to share it with specific person, then you use this and it's basically inside your organization via the URLs. Today's topic is there are options when a report can be published to the internet. Let me show you where it is. If you go to files, you go to embed report, you will see this option publish to web. So what this actually does is it creates a URL of your report, which is accessible from the internet. And the worst part, it has no authentication. So in those scenarios, you are basically making all your data public and it's a massive security risk. In this video, we will show you how to disable that. And it's a security requirement or a secure, uh, it's a mitigation for the risks that you actually have in, in terms of your Power BI reports. So let's see what happens if I click this. Uh, this, this report is a financial report, which can be very confidential and it should stay within the organization. But sometimes, you know, uh, someone who had access to this and, uh, he had all the rights available and he thought oh, is this won't be a big risk he just wanted to share the url with someone clicked here clicked here got the link and he shares it with everyone or with someone else and it keeps going and once it is publicly available uh, even when you disable the public access in your tenant the url that was shared will still exist so there's no going back so whenever you are setting up your Power BI tenant, you need to make sure this particular feature or security risk is mitigated. So when you click on publish to web, you will see this pop up uh, embed in a public website. So let me continue. So if you read this, it says publish a live version version that will remain synchronized with a source report in Power BI and any changes you make to the report will immediately be reflected. So not only you're making it public, you're making sure whatever changes you make will also be visible there. So let's continue. See, uh, Microsoft will give you the warnings. Do not publish confidential or proprietary information or an individual's personal data. So anything, any financial data, PII's, you know, personal identifiable information, those kind of uh, confidential information. If there is anything in those reports, it is accessible over the internet. So best practices to disable this particular feature from your tenant. We will do that uh, going ahead. So let me first publish this. We got this URL and this URL can be used by anyone without authentication. So let me go to a in private window, use that URL, enter, and that's it. No authentication required and it's accessible over the internet. So yeah, massive security risk. And people usually think like if it's a public, you know, if you have a workspace where you only have public data and you want to actually use this feature that's a different scenario but you should never uh, make your reports publicly available now let's see how you will uh, disable this 
uh, you know feature from your power bi tenant so let's go back to our power bi workspace and let's go to settings governance and insights we'll go to admin portal in your admin portal go to export and sharing settings and you will see publish to web so i'll click on that allow users to create new embed codes i will disable that and review embed codes are let me disable that as well and let's apply it takes 15 minutes to reflect so let's wait for that until then let me quickly show you something what i'll do is i will have my so this is my iframe and if i paste that url and save it if you see it it has been embedded as an in an iframe within my html page that i that's basically a sample html page that i've created so it's available here so i mean it, it's it's a good option if you only have public data that you there's no sensitive data and you have a dedicated workspace where you have this and you enable only there but best practice is to never enable this option let's head back to our power bi workspace this is my workspace and my report let's go back to our embed report it's still there so it has not reflected let's wait for some time yep so now if you see my screen that option is no more available and that's that's how it should be you should not make any of your reports uh, you know publicly available that's a massive data breach data incident and can cause a lot of trouble for the organization so that's how it is uh, we have disabled it but the only problem with this is that the urls that you created earlier are still active so there is no going back so this setting should be uh, and i mean this particular publish to web should be disabled prior to creating all those workspaces and setting up your environments so this this tenant setting should uh, you know be disabled from the go whenever you start your power bi uh, in your organization you should make sure you have disabled that if i show you my html page and if i refresh it it is still fetching me in the report so the url is still active that's a massive data incident and yeah that that's it for today uh, i hope this helps you in securing your power bi uh, reports and power bi workspace your tenant so yeah thanks for watching and keep supporting